Tim Alden with Alden School of Leather Trades and Alden Leather Supply. This week's tool of the week, we got our Barry King number one double axe head, and we're going to use it on our headstall cheek blank. We'll go ahead and cut a border. I just did a little round circle where this easy border will cut to, and we'll just finish it off with that rather than. going all the way. We're going to go ahead and use our number three for the big straight stretches. Number three, check beveler. Drop down to our number one check beveler for these tight little radiuses. Okay, so we've got a center line here. Put this stamp right on that center line. I'm gonna push it as far as I can. I'm starting in this narrow spot. That way we can work away from it because we don't know if we start up high where it's gonna hit and whether it's gonna fit in here. Actually, step up to our bigger mall here. And so, I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the center line. Get a partial there. So now that we've gotten our center line done, we're just going to come back here. We're going to line these up in front of us.
if you want the tool facing the other direction to make it easier to line up, you can carefully overlap half of it and you're good to go. So now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and roll around this with our border stamp. The double axe head, it's a little trickier to, you know, get the hang of. Main thing is you don't want them overlapping too much. And if you get much gap in between your stamps, then you're going to have a hard time filling things in and it'll get shifted and you won't uh, have very much fun trying to fill space. But... It definitely is something that, you know, if you just practice a little bit, play around and see what works for you, it's a pretty cool stamp. Alrighty. Well, there you have it. The number one double axe head from Barry King and the number two Crescent Border also from Barry King. Well, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time.